are alive, we're live. Wait a few minutes for people to join the YouTubes. Cole, you gonna join? Am I? You gonna join? What's up? Hello. Now you're gonna join the stream. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Now you're good. Um, yeah, 7%. What'd you say? At 7%. Got 7% battery. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Saturday Night Live, where we're talking fishing questions, we're talking tournaments, talking traveling. I've been traveling practically for the past two weeks, so about to head down to ICAST, which will be fun. Benjamin Nowak is here. What up, Ben? Looking forward to seeing you uh, in a few days at ICAST. What's up is the sky. Yeah, the sky is up. I need to sit up. I look, I look like disheveled if I'm sitting down. Hello, Tanner Waddle. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Am I going to be in Illinois sometime? Actually, I will be driving through Illinois to get to Michigan and then uh, then driving back to Chicago to fly out. So I guess I'm not really like in Illinois. I'm just kind of <laughs> hanging out at the airport. So so no, to answer your question, I'm not going to be in Illinois. What kind of questions we got? Sup, sup, sup. Uh, ben, Sawyer, Michigan, my family's summer home. I'll be hanging down there. And I gotta drop my boat off in Michigan and then go down to uh, to Chicago to fly out. Uh, ben, yeah, Ben, we might actually get together when I'm there. My dad wants to go fishing on Lake St. Clair. So maybe you, my dad, and uh, and myself could go out and hit up the water. I feel like I'm not looking at the camera. I feel like I'm looking at the lens and it looks sideways. Whatever. Oh, it's Cole. No, this is Cole. I'm staying with him. He's live on, on YouTube with us right now. All right, who's got questions? Who's got questions right now? There's 41 of you. I got I to gotta get a few questions. All right, turn it off, Colt. <laughs> I can hear the delay. <laughs> um, did I fish today? Yes, I did fish today. Today was the first day of the Shoal Lake Bass Tournament here in, Kino in Kenora, Ontario. <clears throat> kind of a shoot off of Lake of the Woods, and we're sitting in, I don't know, 15th place or so. We didn't have a fantastic day, but we have a chance to move up tomorrow and make a check. So... That's going to be fun for sure. Uh, Caden, yeah, I'll be in Wisconsin probably the last week and a half of this month or so. So send me a direct message on the Instagram. How was the heat in the Skeeters in the Nasty South? Well, I haven't been in the Nasty South for how long has it been? Like a month and a half. <laughs> and when I left, it wasn't nasty yet. It was still like 90 every day. So, uh, But no, Skeeter's doing great. Pearl's awesome. I got some interesting Skeeter news to tell you guys eventually, but not, not quite yet. Let's see, how did I join the A&M fishing team? I'll be making a video on that soon, but basically you just show up to the meeting and uh, pay your dues. There's no like tryout process, there's no crazy uh, process to get on it. Do I, do I play Fortnite? I do not. I do. Cole plays Fortnite. I, wa I watch Fortnite. I watch Ninja play and some other guys, but I do not have the time to play any Fortnite. Uh, no, I'm not going to New Hampshire anytime soon. Okay, do I plan on becoming a professional fisherman? I mean, in, in a sense. So yes, I do want to continue to fish tournaments, whether it's the local level, uh, you know, the BFLs or the Opens, but I don't think I want to be on the Elite Series. Where are you going? I'm going to charge You on a bed? Oh, no, take, charge in the bed. No, charge in the bed. Charge in the, the boat. Charge the bed. <laughs> you can't charge your bed. Uh, let's see. I had another question that I missed. I missed something. Your local high school doesn't have any tournaments. Try to get one installed. Okay, Woodsman, I will be answering your very, very question uh, in my video about high school fishing, which will come out probably, I'd say, late July, if not early August, but right before school starts up. So be patient. I'll, I'm, I mean, I'm making, like, the most comprehensive video possible about uh, high school and college fishing. Um, I know Ben asked me my favorite experience of up the up north trip so far, and... I don't know. I mean, probably hanging, probably this hanging guy. with Cole. Probably hanging with Cole. Um, what else has been fun? I caught my PB muskie. I, oh, yeah. I mean, that video hasn't come out yet, but I caught a 45-inch muskie. It's pretty fun. And uh, I don't know. I almost no. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it. I'll tell you all later. Not. Some, something cool happened, but I'll tell you guys later. Um, let's see. How was fishing with Natty up north? She was fun. Super fun girl. I love hanging out with her. Good fisherman, too, or fisherwoman, whatever you want to call it. Where am I right now? I'm in Kenora, Ontario. I'll turn around the screen. I'm hanging at my buddy's, my buddy's house on this lake. He said it's got lots of pike. You're pretty good at catching one, Dave. I'm, yeah. 
Yeah, in our tournament today, I caught so many dang pike. Gosh, pike. Pike are not my favorite. No, no, Mason, I know, I don't play Fortnite, but I know one thing, that PUBG is not better than Fortnite. That's not even, not even a question. Let's see. Have I caught an eight-pound bass? I assume you mean have I caught an eight-pound bass? Yes, I've caught multiple eight-pound bass. All on top water, believe it or not. Frogs and spooks. Catch the big ones. Um, Tanner Rattle, my PB. All you have to do is go on my channel or just go on YouTube and search Tyler's Real Fishing PB and it will pop up and you'll be able to see it. I'm trying to see. My, you can't see my hat. There you go. And yet, yeah, Fanatic Fishing, you asked the same question, you dingus. Um, favorite bait to throw for smallmouth? A Ned Rig. Lately, I mean, if, you're, if your fish are eating on crawfish, gobies, um, bluegill, I mean, like literally anything, uh, besides a shad or a, a, a bait fish, a, uh, a Ned Rig represents. Or muskies. Or muskies. Catch muskies on Ned Rigs, too. Let's see. Am I coming to Oklahoma anytime soon? I'm not. I did put out the, what's it called, the Lake Texoma Tournament Series. If you haven't seen that, I, draw, I fished on Lake Texoma, so check that out. But I won't be in Oklahoma, I don't know, probably at least until the fall, if not later. How many boats are in the tournament? Hey, are we like 50 boats? 50 boats. Like 50 boats or so. 50 boats in a tournament out, and we're probably in 15th or so. Uh, will a duckling bait work at all? I mean, if your fish are eating ducks, of course it'll work. But I, I've never I've never thrown a duckling lure myself. Uh, Caden, I may do a meetup. Me and some other YouTubers will do a meetup if we're in Wisconsin in La Crosse. So if we do, I'll let you guys know. And, uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll hang out. I will have a meetup in Minneapolis. So any of you guys who live in the Minneapolis area, I'll be having a meetup probably end of July, early August, most likely early August as well. So it'll be at the Cabela's in Rogers as long as they're willing to have me again. They loved me last year, so I might go back there. Let's see. Am I going to come to South Carolina? Cole, I did come to South Carolina. I filmed a few videos with Fluke Master, and then I have a video on... What's it called? Lake Hartwell that I'm going to edit probably end of the summer. It's just a really, really big file. I uh, really, I mean, I film with a camera that's called the Red. It is like a $50,000 camera, and it's it takes a long time to edit that footage. So the Lake Hartwell video won't be out anytime soon. Let's see. Yes, AJ, of course I'll be in lacrosse. It's going to be a fun time. I'm excited. Going to throw a frog. Going to throw a frog a few times. Uh, coming to Arkansas soon. Yes, I will be in Arkansas. I'm going to make it a trip this fall to fish with Walker Wilson and uh, Ronnie Moore. I'll fish with those two guys in Arkansas. Oh, we got LMB Nation in here. There he is. Oh, I just answered your question. Come to church tomorrow. I don't I don't think I'm in your town. Also, I have a, a tournament tomorrow, so I cannot. Uh, ben, I have not played with 360 footage at all, but... I do plan on it. So my underwater series next year, I probably shouldn't tell anybody this, but I will incorporate 360 footage into that. I think it'll just add a whole new, I don't know, a whole new uh, spectrum. Yeah, whole new, literally a whole new dimension of, uh, of underwater footage. So that'll be cool. LMB, I'll be in Fayetteville at the University of Arkansas. And then wherever Ronnie lives, I think he lives in Little Rock. So somewhere around there. Might fish Dardanelle. My favorite lake in Texas has to be Lake Sam Rayburn. It's a good one. Any fishing routine? I don't know what you mean by fishing routine. Ask, clarify that question there. American huh? American oh, I know. Do I hunt? Yes, I love hunting. I hunt for deer, dove, squirrels, whatever, whatever moves I shoot. But uh, <laughs> not, I mean, not whatever moves. I always say something on, on YouTube Live that that could be twisted if taken out of context. Um, let's see. What is my Snapchat? My Snapchat is TRF, Tyler's Real Fish. Not Tyler's Real Fishing. It is Tyler's Real Fish. Favorite largemouth bait? That is much too broad of a question. I can't answer a favorite largemouth bait because it depends on the situation. I do like a square bill. But square bills catch smallmouth too. So, I don't know. C can I go live with someone else on YouTube mobile? Is that a thing? Can I go live with Ben? I can't go live with Ben. Ben, I'd love to go live, but I'm on the phone. Let's see. Twin Cities Outdoors, yo, yo. You come to my meetup, Twin Cities Outdoors? One more question. Because I have fishing in college, can you have a paid sponsor? Will that disqualify you? You know you can have any sponsors you want. All my sponsors are paid, and I fish all the college tournaments. 
Um, have I ever thrown spinnerbaits or chatterbaits with braid? I have thrown both with braid, but the water is very dirty. I'm talking like less than a foot visibility. Besides that, I like to throw it on 15 to 20 pound fluorocarbon. I never throw a spinnerbait on 20. I throw a spinnerbait on, uh, on what's it called? On, uh, floor, on 20 pound fluorocarbon. But I do, I do do the, uh, the chatterbait on 20. If TRF didn't stand for Tyler's Real Fishing, what would it stand for? Oh, man. Probably Tyler's Real Frisbee. That's probably the closest we can get. Tyler's so. TRF. <laughs> Tyler's Real Fishing, what could it be? It could probably be, like, totally rad friends. That could be a good one. Oh, we just lost some viewers. Lake Fork Guy went live. What a what a bummer. Well, thank you to the twenty. Thank you for the twenty four who have stayed. I appreciate it. Even though LFG is cool, I think I think that I have some qualities that may best LFG. Thanks. You've seen people ripping it through weeds. Yeah, I mean you can you can throw a uh, you can throw a spinnerbait or a chatterbait on braid, but I would recommend not doing it unless your fish are really stupid or you're fishing in dirty water. Let's go four more minutes. I only do these for 15 minutes every Saturday, so get your get your questions in, folks. I'm in Canada right now, in Kenora, Ontario. If you guys got any questions for a Canadian, let me, oh my goodness. Hey, come here. Berkeley. 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 Hey. Oh, you're looking, you're going the wrong way. Berkeley. She's cute. Um. How does it feel to know Kyler Murray was committed to a and I mean, he, he played at a and He wasn't He wasn't just committed. Uh, had any poutine in Canada? What's poutine? Poutine. What's poutine? Brian's gravy and cheese curds. I have not had any poutine. Cole needs to get me some poutine. <laughs> Sounds like it could be some sort of weird phrase. That's, that's not... <laughs> Let's see. How do, I, how do I comment on your video? Which video? Oh, this one. The live one? The live uh, you just comment. My favorite swim bait. I mean, I love glide baits. I love the, the Piz Custom Shadley. I like that one a lot. Um, let's see. Thank you, Ben. We'll need the luck tomorrow. Got to catch a big bag. I didn't subscribe, don't I? You subscribed? Oh, my buddy hasn't even subscribed yet. Cole hasn't subscribed. Favorite top water for bass. I mean, a frog is the most fun, not going to lie. Top but plop. the top plop? Popper. Popper? Yeah. I mean, he likes the popper. Popper's fun, too. It really, like I said, there's so many questions you could ask me, like, what's your favorite lure for this? What's your favorite smallmouth lure? It really depends on the situation and the, uh, I guess, the, the cover and, and water clarity you're fishing. I'd say a whopper plopper is fun. Uh, I love a good spook bite, but a frog is really the most explosive. And you can't, I mean, like, you can set the hook hard on a, on a popper or a, a spook, but, I mean, like, you might rip the treble hooks out if you set it too hard. But a frog, you've got to hammer that thing, and it is, it is definitely fun. It's a fun time. How can you get into college fishing like me? I will, like I said, you must have joined the stream a few minutes ago. I will be making a very, very long and extensive video on how to join high school fishing and how to join college fishing. That way you guys will have all the information you possibly need. So trust me, it'll come out soon. I've just got to get a whole lot of other videos out before I can get to those. So be patient, folks. Be patient with your boy, TRF. Uh, yes, Twin Cities Outdoors. I will do a meetup at the same Cabela's as last year in Minneapolis, probably late July, early August. Not exactly sure on the time, but we'll make it happen. Any more questions? Two more questions. What lake was the one that I caught the nine pound bass? That was Lake Austin. Unless you mean the 9.85 and that was a private lake. Uh, CPT Shocker by PB Bass. Go look on YouTube. Just search Tyler's Real Fishing PB and you'll find it. Is there a volcano next to my house? Of course there's a volcano next to my house. At least the one that I released today. Now, if you guys are still on here, I have a, uh, a new video that just came out today. Make sure you guys check it out. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that good YouTube jargon. Let's see. Ha, one more half minute. Subscribe. How do you become more of a consistent bass fisherman at time on the water? You ask, you ask anybody that fishes professionally, especially the Lee brothers, Matt and Jordan Lee, some of the best young guys we have in the industry now, and they will tell you all day, time on the water. Whether it's at a pond, whether, you I mean, the wind is blowing like it was today, you know, 35 miles an hour, you've got to spend time on the water to really learn how bass react to different uh, circumstances and conditions. I should come to Michigan. I will be in Michigan in about a week and a half. 
I'll be around the southern part, the southwestern part, around Kalamazoo kind of area, and then I'll be uh, out near St. Clair. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. It has been a blast to hang out with you guys on the Saturday. We will do uh, we'll do another Instagram, uh, not Instagram, uh, YouTube Live next Saturday. Make sure you guys come with all your questions. Make sure you guys watch the video I put out today, and we'll see y'all.